All right, all you graveyard shift workers heading back to work after your first lunch breaks, welcome back to the Tuesday Night Special. And apparently, thanks to an advert that Dan the Weatherman Stu gave me before he came back for his accordion, would tell me that he's involved in something called the 2 o'clock Polka Rock Festival that takes place at 2 a.m. tonight. Why 2 a.m. in the middle of the night? That makes no sense. But apparently, he's going to win it, according to what he told me. But we'll have to find out about that next week now, won't we? But before we find out if Dan the Weatherman Stu is going to go home with the gold in a polka rock out session that has nothing to do with the 70s, I think it's time for us to go into one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the Indie Report, which is me giving you guys two news stories followed up by local concert information from local artists performing in a local area live near you. And in our first news story, and more or less video game news, for you fans out there looking for new arcade cabinets to play from Arcade 1UP, I have some good news for you. Because it's been announced on their Twitter page as of this week, they're not only coming out with Burger Time, Frogger, and even a Star Wars cabinet, along with games such as, and not limited to, Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, and even Caveman Ninja, with pre-orders that are starting today on their website of Arcade1Up.com. And I, for one, am still waiting for Dig Dug to be available on one of these arcade cabinets. But I'll have to do with Bad Dudes, because I saw it once during an episode of Up Up Down Down featuring the Fashion Police, and I really liked it. So, to get a chance to get my hands on one of those, would be pretty cool. And for those out there who are wondering, these arcade cabinets will cost you just around the low, low price of $399. And it will be available as of March 1st of this year. Yeah, so, not a bad price. And for those who want to keep up to date on any other arcade cabinets they're going to come out with in the near future, you can head on over to their YouTube page or their Twitter page known as Arcade underscore one up or better known as Arcade one up official to check it out for yourself. And in other news, or more or less, music news. For you fans out there who are still chomping at the bit for the anticipated album from Ozzy Osbourne entitled Ordinary Man, it looks like it's going to have a little bit more star power behind it with none other than Sir Elton John on a track that will be featured alongside with Ozzy Osbourne. And in my opinion, what sort of song is Elton John going to be able to do when Ozzy Osbourne? And how interesting would it be to see if it starts with a piano solo from Elton John himself? Now, there's thousands of possibilities of how this song will go. But either way, I got a feeling it's going to be extremely awesome to see these two who are polar opposites of each other actually doing a song with each other. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this album that still doesn't have a release date, but is scheduled to be released according to many news sources as of the first month of this year, which should be any day now. Yeah, like everybody else said. But if you guys want to figure out the actual release date of this said album and keep up the date of when it will be released, you can head on over to the website only known as consequencesofsound.net to check it out for yourself. And don't worry folks, the day this album does release, we will let you know too. Hopefully first, but chances are somewhere around the 5,000th person to let you know depending on how fast the word of mouth goes. And with that said, folks, we now head into the concert information for this week, and we kick things off with Wednesday, January 8th, and you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. Paul J. Bakush 
is going to be performing at the Old Meals Restaurant and Bar in Hoboken, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Richie G One Man Band is going to be performing at the Cucina 347 Pista and Restaurante in Oakland, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., and to finally wrap it up for Wednesday night, you can see Mike Tescato or Mike Tedesco. No, we'll go with the second one, who's going to be performing at the So Far Sounds in New York City, New York at 8 p.m. And on Thursday, January 9th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you live. Harrius is going to be performing at the Stone House in Sterling Ridge in Warren, New Jersey at 5 p.m. Everclear, nice band name, is going to be performing at the Art Alexis Everclear Solo in Garwood, New Jersey at 7 p.m. DJ Remixer JRS is going to be performing at the 46 Lounge in Toata, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And the Black Cow and the Mess Around is going to be performing at the Hoover's Tavern in Mars Plains, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for a Thursday night, you can see and Friends who's going to be performing at the Crossroads in Garwood, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And for Tuesday for next week, which is the 14th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area live near you. And the one band that we have up for Tuesday for next week and all the bands we're going to mention for this week is none other than DJ Remixer JRS who's going to be performing at the Lit 21 in Newark, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And if you guys want to check out the complete list of bands that we could list during this very broadcast, and trust me folks, there were a lot of them, you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we could list during this very broadcast. And like I say at the end of all of these skits, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys perform live. And trust me, they'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back into the music one more time. And when we return, we'll be back with the final segment for the Tuesday night special for this week, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 